Hey guys, Meteor Rebel Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. Some interesting shifts, some interesting trends here. Still looking at two storm systems between now and 4-2, and then the pattern's going to shift, and the northern branch will open, and everything will start to come south. And that storm that comes south between 4-3 and 4-6 is definitely trending stronger, and the totals have increased in a number of areas. So that will be interesting to look at. But you can see the timing. Sierra, Tetons, Wasatch, Colorado, and I updated the northeast. Interesting trend there, too. It looks like this... This storm system around 4.2 to 4.4, trending a little colder and, a, and quite a bit stronger for the Northeast. So I'll take a look at all of that in this, uh, this forecast update, but I want to take you over to water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon and just kind of get an update on things. So again, the moisture aloft here is in the whites and the blues and the greens. So there's our next storm system. That's the one that's going to be diving in. Um, to the Intermountain West over the next couple of days, spreading snow all the way through California and the Sierra, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado, and New Mexico. There's another storm behind it. Both of these are going to ride that jet in. Those are the next two storm systems. So there's our forecast jet by the close of day today. You can see the big trough and watch what happens. So one storm splits and kind of goes across the northern tier. Second storm is going to dig further to the south through California hit the Sierra, make a run towards the Four Corners with additional snow for Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. Then it goes away. And then look what happens. Here comes that northern branch buckling to the south, a whole different pattern here by 4, 5, 4, 4, 4, 5, and 4, 6. And this is the one that could bring that heavy snow all the way down from the northern tier into Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, Idaho, Montana. All right, here's precip. Forecast radar 530 today. There's our storm. Here it comes, moves into the interior, sets up a heavy band of snow on 328 across the Wasatch. And then that moves into parts of Colorado. And by the time we get into 330, that snow redevelops over the top of the Wasatch and parts of the Tetons because here comes the second storm system coming out of California. And that moves towards the four corners. Snow continues across the inner mountain, including Colorado and New Mexico. And then it's gone by 4-2. But watch what happens. Here comes that next pattern, the next cycle moving south. Now look at that, the precip, and this is much stronger than what I was showing you this morning. More widespread, more snow for Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Idaho, and Montana. Here are my latest grand totals. So by late 4-5, all the numbers have gone up. Look at this, now approaching 2 to 3 feet for a lot of Park City Deer Valley Snow Basin, and now potentially 4 feet for parts of Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon. So what you're looking at here is the combination of the next two storms and that stronger storm system on 4-4, four, 4-5, four, four, and 4-6. So all the numbers have gone up as a result. Now two feet up around the Tetons, big sky, one to two feet in a lot of Montana. Looking at parts of Colorado, um, the numbers across the western slope look good, anywhere from one to two feet. Crested Butte, Aspen Snowmass, Vail, all the way up to Steamboat, with lesser amounts outside of that, sort of that orbit. In California, a couple of feet there through Tahoe and Mammoth, and some good numbers through interior BC and Sunshine. Those numbers have also trended up, as, largely as a result of that storm system coming south. Um, you know, at, in early April there, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5 as it drops south. Okay, let's break it down by time period. So rest of today through tomorrow. Most of what you see there in Utah and the Tetons happens tomorrow. 3 to 10 across uh, the Wasatch, 5 to 8 in the, uh, the Tetons. Okay, second time period. 329 through 331, 1 to 2 feet for the Wasatch, 5 to 8 in the Tetons, and the numbers in Colorado, pretty looking pretty good, 6 to 12 inches across most of the central to northern mountain corridor, less in the southern mounds, will pick up about a foot in the Sierra. Now, this is the most interesting period with the most changes. 4-1 through 4-5, early April. Um, looking at a foot or more, one to two feet in the Wasatch. So those numbers, that's why the contribution has gone up into the grand totals, just because of this storm alone. Um, looking at about eight to 14 for the Tetons, a foot or more in parts of Montana, and we've added some snow in Colorado. I've got three to six across most of the zones in this time period alone. Okay, now here's another big change to the northeast. Now, this is assuming colder temperatures, 4-2, 4-3, 4-4. Remember this morning I talked about how they were marginal, they might be too warm, but if they were colder, the number, numbers would go up. So what we're looking at is the case where the numbers go up, and you can see what the potential is here for a foot or more in some locations. Of course, this is still a ways off, so we'll see how this forecast um, oscillates, because it will in the coming days. All right, we'll end on the grand total map here for this afternoon, and there are some definite bullseyes 
Tetons, Montana, Wasatch, western parts of uh, Colorado into northern Colorado and parts of the Sierra. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon. Mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.